Hey people, um, many, many moons ago here in Australia, there was an entity known as the Postmaster General's Department, or the PMG for short. Now the PMG um, at the time was responsible for the handling of all our postal and telegraphic services here. Uh, later on in its life, um, there was a separation of powers and in about 1975, it was split into two halves. One side to handle the postal services and the other to handle the telecommunication services. Um, the organization created at that point to handle the telecommunications was the Australian Telecommunications Commission, um, trading under the name of Telecom Australia. Now, they operated under that name until around about 1995, after which they then became known as Telstra, which is the privatised monster that we still have with us today. Now, the reason for mentioning any of that is because this particular phone here is from the time of the PMG. Um, this phone, although I'm not exactly sure, it was made in the 70s sometime. Um, it's a phone that I still do use occasionally, um, sometimes in conjunction with this uh, tone dialer here, depending on what I need to do. But uh, the particular reason that I have it in front of the camera is because of this lock here. It's a rotary dial telephone lock. Um, I'm sure you all know how to use a phone. You put your finger in a hole, you dial so far, and your finger stop by this little device here, and you release and you go and pick another number. Um, this type of lock was designed to go in, say, the number one. So while you could rotate the dial as far as that, you couldn't get to any of these other numbers, and thus you were unable to dial a complete number. So that was meant to uh, protect your telephone. Obviously, there are always a, there are always ways around things. Uh, and for example, hook switch dialing was discovered. But um, enough of that. I had a plan to pick this lock for you while it was in the phone because I thought that might have been a cool thing to do. But um, apparently that's not going to happen for me. Um, the particular problem I encountered is that this lock here is a Yale and Town and there appear to be different dimensions at play. While I can sort of place this in a hole, I can't get it to go all the way in and thus I can't turn the key and cannot lock the lock into place. So what I'm going to do now is um, move a couple of these things out of the way and we'll come back and just have a look at the lock and have a little bit of play with it and see how it picks. So all of that being said, um, I'll wriggle off and I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, here we are at the vice with this um, nice old Yale in town, mounted up and ready to go. I'm going to um, use this Peterson gem. With a bit of luck I can keep my big fat hands out of the way so that you can see what I'm doing. Just going to try and slowly find the wafers and uh, see which of any feel like they might want to uh, cooperate with me and go into the place that they need to be in order for this lock to open and there we go she is open so um not the greatest of struggle out of the lock that um, you might get, but in any case, um, it's a cool old lock. I kind of like it. It's a nice, in interesting bit of history. A little lock to, um, yeah, look at every now and then and think, wow, how times have changed. <laughs> any case, um, Something a little bit different there. Peace and respect to one and all. I'm going to go find something else to do. Um, 
catch you all on another day perhaps. Be well. Take care.